Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We're saving the world one trailer at a time. Today we're gonna look at the 2020 Montana 3854 BR. This is a 13 and a half thousand pound trailer. It's got four slides, mid bunk, rear living room, outside kitchen, killer floor plan. Let's get to it. We got a road armor pin box right here, which is gonna help eliminate some of the chucking. Beautiful molded front fiberglass cap. Mirror here so you can watch yourself hook up when you're looking in your rear view mirror of your truck. Then we have our rougher style storages, battery on this side, and then a spot here for generators, blocks, uh, sewer hoses, levels, just our rougher kind of items in through there. Coming down the side here, we have a 30 pound per paint tank on this side, 30 pound per paint tank on the other side. Auto leveling built in, that's hydraulic auto leveling. Uh, very strong, very fast. Our pass-through storage is right here. Goes from this side and passes through to the other side. Nice and clean. This is heated as well. Our central vac's in there. Uh, it's a drop frame, so it's nice and tall through here too, so you can get some larger items. Right here's our convenience center, so you have your city water connection, outside shower, tank flush, uh, winterizing, bypassing, draining your tanks, draining your low points, battery disconnect, outside shower, cable and satellite inlet, all that in here, nice and clean and out of the way. Slam latch doors, slam them. 10 gallon gas electric uh, water heater, furnace vent. This is that mid bunk room slide there. We're gonna get a good look at that here in a second. Good looking tires there too, aluminum rims of course. I mentioned hydraulic leveling, right? Yep, it's got hydraulic leveling. We got our fresh water vent back here. 50 amp service, we got two ACs, rear ladder. Apparently the birds like that ladder. Uh, you, you got a uh, prep up there for a backup camera. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Sleep off your slide outs, just so nothing gets jammed in there. Secondary awning off of our main slide. Right, some good awning space here. And then our main awning goes all the way to the front here. All right, lots of space. Look at this outside kitchen. We got ourselves two burners, two cubic foot uh, fridge, and then this really cool Kind of like a marine style uh, sink here. Bingo bango. There is a spot in behind here. You can plug something in if you want to put a blender out here. Something like that. And then just the other side of our main storage. <clears throat> big window here on the door side in the hallway. And then some other big windows off the main slide. More right step. It's just going to roll in nice and easy. Big lend a hand grab handle. And we got ourselves a road armor suspension system to match our road armor uh, pin box there at the front. That was the outside, let's look inside. Hey guys, we're inside the bedroom of that 3854. Right away you see our big king bed. We got bedside tables, receptacles on both sides of the bed, and also windows on both sides of the bed. So you're gonna get some nice cross ventilation. Nice headboard there too. We got a big front wardrobe here. All right, opens up all the way to the other side there. Nice shelf here, shelving down below, hanging storage all the way around, motion sensitive light. Then we got a laundry hamper here. I love it when they do that. Counter space. This is our spot right through here where our uh, laundry will be. Uh, if you're not using this for laundry, obviously you can you just use it for storage. You got hanging and shelves down through here. That's where our secondary uh, um, uh, uh, chair is. Sorry, that's what that's called, a chair. Uh, louver doors here so you get some venting through that washer dryer. We do have some storage here. Underneath, those are our essential vac uh, appliances there or attachments. Storage underneath. Window here. I did want to point this out. On this one, we have two layers of blinds. So we have one nightshade and then one day shade. TV across from the bed. Dresser down below. Six drawers built into our dresser. Five for him, one for her. Or sorry, five for her, one for him. Let's have a look at the washroom. We got ourselves solid service in the washroom, undermount sink, nice storage through here. Another storage piece through there. I love it when they put the, the toilet paper in the back of the door like that. Three more drawers. All right, then we're into our washroom. You don't have to slide through the door like this. You can actually open this up. Have the glass on that side. Solid fiberglass enclosure. Nice seat, upgraded head. All right, skylight, porcelain toilet, 
and then we have some good more some <laughs> some good more some more good living space through here pour some toilet down below awesome let's head down the hallway as you walk down the hallway we got this window here i was telling you about all right um i just love having natural light in the hallway or anywhere you can get it a big uh it looks like a double even a queen size bed up through there receptacle lights another window there stairs to get up and in and then as you come in the door you actually have a spot here you can hang your jackets up awesome come down here we're gonna have a look at our uh <clears throat> our mid bunk room got ourselves a trifold sofa right here all right that's gonna pull out into a bunk or into a bed don't forget we have the other bed above us we have a desk back here too, so this doesn't have to be a bunk room. Could just be a chilling room, a work room, something like that. I love these chairs here. It's got that kind of Victorian look. Big drawer, smaller drawer. All this is cupboards here above that's open. And then a couple more cupboards here. Right on. The room itself is separated by pocket doors, so good use of space there. We have our 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. Furion stovetop, high output burners there, oven down below, big drawer through here, cupboard here on this side. I love these countertops. We've got a pop up receptacle there, convection microwave, spot to put your wine, spot to put your spices. Then we got ourselves a pantry, motion sensitive light. I have a lot of people store their shoes in here because they're sitting right there on the floor. I don't know if that's a great idea having your stinky shoes near the, near the food, but whatever. Storage here above the TV. Our TV's across from our feeder seats. We'll see those here in a second. TV's on an arm. Our DVD player's nicely hidden. Great spot there for an Apple TV. Right on. Uh, then we got our fireplace there too. Trifold sofa here at the back. It's obviously bigger than the one in the bunk room, but it operates just the same. Windows all the way around. Storage here above that's nice and open. Notice how Montana has these hidden hinges. You can't see the hinges. Kind of like a residential application. Right on. This is our theater seats. We talked about this. These are electric recliners. They got nice little fancy lights there as well. Built into the cup holder. Windows here on the door side looking at your site. Another pop-up receptacle right through here. Right. Two chairs through here. All right, and then I missed the island. So let's talk about the island. We got ourselves a big sink on the left side, smaller sink down here, pull out faucet. I love this feature, look at this. We put our garbage there, that's so cool. All right, then we got ourselves a drawer, a couple more covered doors, bingo bango. Right on. Well, one other thing we do while I'm down here, just put the sink covers here. Look at those, that's legit countertops. I love that stuff. Well guys, thank you for tuning in. If you like that video, push the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Our email is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number 705-833-2539. Thanks guys, have a good day.